I have been living in the Bay for almost 18 months now. That's still crazy when I think about it. But in this video, I'm gonna take you guys through some of the things I like about living in the Bay, some of the things I don't like about living in the Bay, some of the things I feel kind of in the middle on, and then I'm gonna tell you how much all of it costs. Now that we got that out the way, let's hop into it. My favorite thing to do, the thing I like most to do, and it's really one of the cheapest things that you can do is go hiking. California has some of the most insane hikes that I've ever seen in anywhere that I've traveled to. And it's so accessible. Honestly, most times they're free. And then on the most expensive end, there's a $30 parking fee or something like that. But California, specifically the North Bay, has access to premium hikes. And honestly, I try to go hiking at least once a month. I use an app called All Trails, and with All Trails, I pay about $30 per year, and they allow you to download all types of trails within the area. They tell you whether it's hard, they tell you whether it's easy, how long it's gonna be. And for me, when I'm moving around in the wilderness like that, like I wanna know, all right, this is the trail I'm supposed to be on. Cause sometimes your cell service goes out. I feel like if you're in the Bay Area, you'd be doing yourself a disservice not to go hiking because it's so accessible to everybody. And I feel like these hikes are just top tier. They're just some top tier places you can go see here. And to my point earlier about the Bay being in such a big area, another thing I like to do is just try a bunch of fun shit, man. And by that, I mean the Bay Area has such a diverse group of people, a multitude of cities, that you can really find something to do every weekend if you want to, whether it's food, whether it's entertainment, whether it's just something different than you've done in your life. I really do feel like it's just a ton of different things to do out here in the Bay all the time. Now, what might stop you from doing those things is the cost of those items. So I just think it depends on, you know, your personal situation and then also how you're moving as well. Uh, you know, things like Uber can be pretty expensive if you're going from North Bay to South Bay. But maybe if you decide to take the Cal train from North Bay to South Bay, it'll be a lot cheaper. And of course, while we're talking about transportation, you can't forget the autonomous car startup company Waymo. This was a super dope experience and it's really practical. Like it was actually a lot more smoother than what I thought it would be. Once I got in, I just pressed that start ride button and it was all good, man. Everything was smooth and I felt safe the whole time. So if you're in San Fran or if it's in your city, definitely, definitely, definitely should go do that. And what would any Bay Area vlog be if I didn't talk about the cable cars? One of these bad boys will run you $8 and when you go to downtown San Francisco, you'll see them everywhere. Now let's talk about some of the things I do not like about being in the Bay. So things I don't like, and it is definitely time to address the elephant in the room. Lord knows I hate these rent prices. Living in the South Bay, you literally have some of the most expensive real estate in the United States of America. Like CNBC consistently talks about this area being one of the most expensive areas in the United States. And to get down to it, like in every cost of living video, I show you guys what I pay for in rent. And this is my spot that I stayed at while living in the South Bay. And this spot costs $3,000 per month to rent out. And to be honest with you, this is a little bit lower than the average for San Jose and the South Bay area. So this just goes to show you what that money can get and exactly how expensive it is out here in the Bay area. And that leads me to another thing that I don't like about being out here in the Bay. You're paying these astronomical rent prices. And yes, you do have access to amazing things that a lot of states and a lot of cities you don't have access to. But boy, Bippin' is a issue, bro. It's an issue. And if you don't know what Bippin' is, Bippin' is Bay Area slang for a smash and grab. And while a smash and grab happens all around the nation, it's way, way, way more common in the Bay Area. 
A lot of people have different thoughts and opinions on this, especially when California voters voted Proposition 47 into law, which makes some previous felonies like this one into misdemeanors. So even if they are caught in the act, it won't result in any jail time. For the bippers, the thieves that are doing it, I can't help but see why they would. Let's be honest, these people are probably in a low level income situation. Proposition 47 has made it a low risk opportunity. And this is a very high cost of living area, which a lot of times brings out this kind of desperation in people. Bro, I mean, you can go anywhere at any time. And if you leave anything, your stuff is liable to get broken into. And to be fair, it's not all around the Bay Area, but it's in a lot of the Bay Area. It's not just one or two or three or four places. It's a lot of the Bay Area. And it's definitely in them tourist spots where you would go visit if you were visiting San Francisco. Like, that's prom time. I just couldn't imagine paying two, three, sometimes $4 million for a house and you can't leave a cord in your car when you go inside. It's just... It doesn't make sense to my outsider mind. I can't go for it. And you know I cannot let this video end without talking about another big elephant in the room. Boy, this homelessness out here is something that you really do only imagine sometime in like these dystopian third world type of places. There are some streets out here in the Bay specifically at San Fran, Oakland area that get disgusting, man. And you just don't ever want to be caught out there. You don't ever want to walk through there. You can definitely see the effects of fentanyl on the streets. And it's definitely not uncommon to see somebody high as hell from fentanyl on the middle of a work day on Tuesday. You walking down the street, it's 3 p.m. Somebody high as hell off of that. So I think those two things do go hand in hand, but the homelessness is just literally out of control. And you know, I think this is kind of a controversial topic uh, because the government, the Californian government actually does do something called harm reduction where they give them the needles that are clean and they'll make sure that they are getting STD testing, which I think is great. But at the same token, you are enabling them in a sense i'm not gonna say where i stand on it but it's definitely having an effect on the quality of life in the bay area now on a lighter note i'm sure you guys have noticed i actually haven't mentioned food at all this entire video and it's because i was on the fence about the california food and then i had a chance to really just sit back and think like what has my experience been with the food here and you know what the food here is pretty damn good. I was going to say I was in the middle about it, but honestly, when I reflect back on it, like just going off the unique brands that California, the North Bay area has that I don't have access to as a person that was born on the East Coast is definitely, definitely different. And I will say the quality of food that's available in like the fast food, fast casual spots is higher. There have definitely been a few spots out here that I really enjoy eating at. And I can also say with food, because it is so damn expensive to live out here. I be trying to eat in the house. So a lot of times I'm in the grocery store, I'm in the local produce spot, and I'm trying to get something healthy and I'm trying to cook at the house. But occasionally I do eat out. Overall, as a black man living in the Bay Area, I would say if you can afford to live out here, it's not that bad. There's a lot of beautiful things. There's a lot of positive things I talked about in this video, but there's also a whole different side to it that might not get fixed anytime soon. And honestly, if I had to bet, I would say it would not get fixed anytime soon. Would I stay out here long term? Do I see myself living out here in the Bay for multiple years to come? No, I don't. I see this as I get a unique experience to live in California, Northern California, and I'm gonna take advantage of it for as long as I can. But anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. This is Cost of Living Bay Area. I tried to switch up the format a little bit this time, you know what I'm saying? And um, until the next video, peace, love, happiness, all of that. Yes, sir.